Okay, this is an impressions uh, review of the iFi iPurifier 2. Um, it is, a, you know, a, like an audio cleaner. Um, USB cables are prone to uh, EMI, RFI, and uh, signal interference. And uh, it seems like something that wouldn't really make much of a difference. And I know personally a couple of years ago I would not have ventured into something like this at all. Um, but I've reached a point in the audio world where I've heard most everything. Um, I've heard a lot of the expensive stuff. I've owned some of it. Um, and I find myself going back to things that I've owned previously um, because they're better. Um, and, you know, that's it. And uh, the the IDSD was something that I owned before and I sold it and I got the Mojo and then I sold the Mojo and I got the IDSD again because having owned both of them I realized that I had the better one previous so it's a pain in the ass to sell something go back to something you already had because the first one I had to sell for a loss because I sold it uh, online and then I bought it again so you know kind of stupid but when you really like something you you end up going back um, so I'm at the point now in the hobby where I find myself, uh, for example, the JVC uh, 1100s or the, the top of the line Woodies, um, the IEMs, I, I had them and I sold them and I'm thinking now, I, I'm going to get those again. Um, to, to listen to this you know, multi-BA stuff and this hybrid stuff, I, I really like the sound of, the, of that JVC. Um, and that's another example of having had something, gotten rid of it, and then looking back think you know what that was pretty awesome so that was the IDSD um, so how do I make this sound a little bit better and I, I had a you know exchange of mails with a Tyler um, at iFi and he was saying you know is there anything you you want to try out um, and I thought you know I'm cool right now I, I, I bought you guys stuff already and uh, I bought it a couple times actually I'm a big fan and I went and checked the website and I saw this thing and I thought it was actually a different version I think and I said that that would be cool uh, I, I'd, I'd love to try that out um, and then he said you know can you wait for a certain version and I was I, I thought sure whatever um, and ended up getting this thing in the mail um, and uh, here's the the review which is not a review it's a story um, for about the past month, I've been not in the mental zone for Sonic Joy. Um, you know, you get busy, uh, life happens, and uh, unless, you know, music is like a background for your life, which m m music is an enjoyment thing for me when, when I'm trying to, you know, chill. Um, music chills me. Um, but if I'm so wound up because I got bad days and stuff's not going well, um, I can't get into chill mode. And if I can't get into chill mode, then I don't even get into the music because it's I, I can't chill. Uh, it's it's not going to help me. Um, I need more sleep or I need to get through my stress. And then when I get through that, then I got the, the mental um, space to, you know, tune out and to really get in and get lost in the music. Um so for about a month I was I really wasn't in that um, I got this thing in the mail I, I looked at it and thought you know hey cool um, sent a mail said I got it uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and you know give it a listen and um, I had it and I plugged it in and uh, I was listening to something and I was at that moment I was thinking man this is interrupting my lunch because I got to prep for a class and because uh, I teach and I got you know kids coming um, I'm in Japan and uh, yeah I'm tight I, I gotta start at 3.30 and I still got copies that I gotta make of, of tests and uh, I'm thinking I, sh I shouldn't be listening to this now because I don't have the time to give it but I, I don't have time really period right now so get it get it get in where you can fit in so I thought now's the time to get the first impression I listen to it I'm checking the basketball uh, the finals right now uh, I'm not pleased because the Golden State's blowing it. I'm a I'm not a Golden State fan, but I'm I'm definitely not a Cleveland fan. So, I'm a, there's there's just a lot of not cool things going on, uh, and uh, and I'm thinking to myself, 
oh shit, I got the 800s in my ears. I'm gonna, I'd rather use the thousands because they're more, they, they got a lot more detail. So uh, anything that this is doing uh, to the music, I, I better get the 1000s, the EX 1000s, uh, and because that'll be better. I pull it out my ear, and I, and I got the EX 1000s in my ear at the time, um, which are these ones. They're actually plugged in right now. Now, what the fuck does that got to do with anything? Um, the reason that I thought that I had the EX-800s in my ears is because the bass sounded good and the treble sounded kind of rolled. Uh, and that is not the sonic signature for the EX-1000. So I, I just thought, I, I got the wrong IMs for this. I had, you know, my, my mental references for the 1000s. So I instantly knew that something was up because rolled the treble on the ex-1000 is you, you you don't see that in a sentence you, you you don't hear that by anybody ever um and it, i was one of the reasons i was going to get rid of the 1000s was because sometimes it can be fatiguing and getting a lot of bass out of it is really a high level bass head challenge i can do it but it's 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 a lot of work um and uh, here I am thinking that I've got the bassy rolled off EX 800s, which are awesome. Uh, I love love the shit out of those, man. Um, <coughs> and because I thought the last time I listened, I had those in my ear, and then I listened to this thing, and I thought, yeah, I, like mental confirmation that what I was kind of subliminally thinking, because I wasn't looking at what I was sticking in my ear. Um, yeah, I got the 800s and oh shit, like, I want to listen and pull it out and find the, these are the thousands in them. That moment of realization that. I thought I was listening to one thing, but I was listening to the other. It was I don't think I've ever had that in my life. Um, I, you pretty much know what you got on your head. I know if I got the SEs on my head. I know if I got the MA900. They're, they're not, you don't confuse them easily. But I just confused two IEMs in my ear. Um, and I know them both very well. Uh, and the only difference in the chain was this thing. Now, this is a full portable solution is it really portable well listen it's 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 it it's something you can stick in your pocket um like a sansa clip or a, a iphone um or a, a ipod or it's something else um so in that sense yeah this is quite portable um um so I thought for a second, no, I, not for a second, for like a day, I thought this has got a DSP in it, man. The, the, how, the, how the hell, you know, I remember the, God, what the hell was the name of that one? Um, it, 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 it did have a DSP in it, and it uh, it made the high sound kind of steroidal. Oh, God, what the hell was the name of that? I actually, ha I own this thing, uh, and I can't remember the name of it now. Um... Anyway, that, that, that had a DSP in it, set it right on the box. Um, and I thought, this one's got one too, because how the hell is it doing, not one thing, but two, it's it's making the treble sound smoother, and it's making the bass sound a little bigger. Uh, Stage-wise, I, I didn't notice anything different, because the EX-1000s have a very, very large stage. Um, but, you know, I get on the HeadFi thread, and I'm, you know, looking through this item's thread, and everybody's talking about computers, and I'm, I'm not... I'm not into that and then I hit something and the person types out exactly what I heard which is and he put bass in capital B A S S and then he said that the troubles were smoothed and I thought that's exactly what I got and then he's I'm I didn't really read carefully what he was saying because he said Sammy I don't know what the fuck he's talking about I go back and read what he's doing and the Sammy is a Samsung which is the same as this thing um, and he's running it to a Oppo HA2 um, which means that he's basically doing exactly what you're looking at in this video. He's got a smartphone, even though this doesn't have a SIM card in it. This is just a host. Um, but he's got a, he's got a large screen Samsung with a portable act, uh, DAC amp. Um, and he's noting a sonic difference, which is identical to me. So we've got almost the same. We're not using a computer. Um, we're using a Samsung, same maker. Um, we're running to an external DAC and amp, and we're noting uh, an increase in bass and a, and a smoothing of the, the treble with no n noticeable effect on soundstage that I could determine. Maybe he thought it was bigger. I, did, I don't notice anything. They're, they're big as it is. Um, 
and I thought that I actually quoted him because I thought that's exactly what I heard. Um, and for the EX1000s, which I was going to let go of, I'm not going to let go of them anymore. And the only reason I'm not going to let go is because that thing makes them sound awesome. So, um, what what does this thing do? Um, it cleans up the signal. Um, what does that mean? Uh, I'm not a scientist, so I'm, I'm not exactly sure what you know reducing the jitter and uh, d did it did i have that much shit going on that it was making some the bass didn't sound as good or it just it doesn't make any sense um i don't get it because i'm not an acoustic scientist so and uh, bass is really my focus uh, when it comes to audio so having an increase in bass in a set that is i knew what its limit was because i pushed it to it already was something that struck me in instantly and then the smoothing of the treble was something that i got right away so you know why does it do that? I, I don't know. Um, does it do that? It does. Not only that, but when I got onto HeadFi to check because I thought, I have to, I have to tell somebody this. And then I realized somebody already did. Uh, and, and they're in the same boat that I am as far as you know, their rig. Um, so that makes two people now, uh, me and that dude, uh, that you know, have the portable stack. And we're noticing the same exact effect. Um, coming from this thing um, w you know what <laughs> really this 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 thing is giving me better bass uh, and smoother treble on a set that is infamous for having um, you know plenty of treble and not a lot of bass um yeah true story man uh not only that but like i said i wasn't in the mood i was trying to get lunch i'm trying to make prints i'm watching the finals in basketball that's not making me happy uh I'm, the last thing of the four things going on in my brain is the thing i'm listening to and you know uh oh shit i got the wrong things in my ear pull it out look at it and oh no i don't actually and that event itself was kind of proof that I hadn't set myself up for any expectations because I'd forgotten that this thing was even coming and I didn't even know what it really does. I didn't really check it out because, you know, it's got a picture of a jet. Um, it's, so, you know, um, I, I, I don't know what to, to extrapolate that. Um, it's using, um, you know, uh, radar technology that that, that that mimics the signal and it copies it inverts it send it back so it, like it's a like stealth or something or I, I i don't know i don't i don't know anything about any of that um as it relates to audio so i i did not have any pre conceptions or expectations from this item um i just know that i sat down was not in the mood as a matter of fact i was really close to pissed about other stuff and then you know, pulled a set out of my ear thinking it was one and it was the other. And I know these two very well because they're not sonically very similar, actually. Um, so one of them sounded like another one. And the only difference was because of this. And I've listened to this now repeatedly and it, it's actually doing that. Uh, and I, I love that it does that. Um, would I recommend that you buy this? Um, I'd recommend you buy anything from this company because they, they communicate with you and they respond to you and they... Uh, they built this thing the with you know crowd sourcing and crowd opinions and the, you know um, it's a, they're a pretty impressive company if you're using a setup like myself where you've reached a point where you're you know buying different headphones and uh, you're just not really seeing improvement so you're, you're you're thinking what is another way that I can improve uh, even a little bit uh, my enjoyment level and the, this would be one of the ways if you're using uh, I, I, I want to say for the sake of iFi you know hey if you got a computer I can't say that though because I don't use this in that way so I, I, I don't know uh, if you're using this with a smartphone uh, and an amp um, and you can put up with the you know turbocharged thing shooting out the back if anybody remembers my mojo I had a uh, a ferrite collar uh, via blue so it looked, I thought it was cool I actually I dig this I don't mind this at all. This is not. This is not an issue. 
Um, so, I, you know, these go for 200 bucks in Japan. Uh, would I buy one? I, when I checked the price online, I thought yeah, I'd buy that. That's not bad. Um, it makes my, what was my favorite set that was going to be sacrificed because of the treble um, become keepers. Mm, so, you know, that kind of speaks for itself. Um, I got to say thank you to uh, Trevor, or I'm sorry, Tyler, um, for uh, giving me the opportunity to, to get a listen to this. I, I, I think it's absolutely fantastic. Um, if you're in a configuration where uh, noise uh, is, is a po po possible issue, which would be like in every scenario, uh, this would be an option. Um, they got different ones that, that interface with different things. Um, and it does affect the sound to the point where it sounds like there's a, a digital sound processing going on inside, though, although it's not. Um, and people open up the iFi stuff. Even iFi opens it up and, and shows the boards. So there's nothing going on except a cleaning of the signal, and it, it, it makes a difference. Um, I wreck it. If if you don't have the amp that you, you want, I wouldn't wreck it because I, this is one of the things that you get when you've gotten your host and you've gotten your amp and you've gotten maybe the the drivers that you like best to the point where now where it's become flat out a hobby and you're trying to just experience new stuff. If you're trying to get a better sonic experience, this will this will ratchet it up a couple levels um, noticeably. This is not a subtle thing at all. Uh, like I said got on the thread and it was hunting for something because I was gonna just I was kinda blown and somebody already did it and it did exactly what I was gonna do and said exactly what I was gonna say so there's two of us never met the dude he's not a base head um, but we both noted that, that the same effect uh, that this had um, and I wasn't ignoring other posts that said alternate or different things because I was running into computer Opinions. This was somebody that has a Samsung phone, uh, runs to an external amp and DAC, and was noting exactly the same effects that I have. So this is not really a review so much as a opinion uh, with citing a, a, a like opinion um, that I was unaware of until I tried to make my own. So um, I'm not in any question of am I imagining this thing does something because the mood that I was in when I first listened to it and then to have a, a sentence in my head that I wanted to type and read and find it's it's been typed already um, yeah I'm hearing exactly what I thought I was hearing um, and the EX1000 sound absolutely outstanding so I'm pretty stoked about that that it's got two little blue lights or two a, a blue and green light then you get the gold coming out that's like it's it's shooting the gold out the the liquid awesome into the awesome minator and then passing it through to okay um it's dope i like it good stuff thank you very much tyler